Go ahead. All right, y'all. Today, we're going to learn how to wrap the hands. Now, you have to wrap the hands whether you're boxing, kickboxing, anything like that, because if you just put your hands on inside the glove without the hand wraps to support them, to kind of constrict those bones, typically going to hurt something, all right? So, you guys want to start with the hand wrap just like this? Um, I'd recommend either 180s or 200s. 200s are nice just because it's a little bit longer. It gives you a little bit more length to, you know, kind of double up on some trouble areas, okay? Myself, I've hurt my thumbs before, so I like to use these long hand wraps to double up on the thumbs, all right? So, usually want to, you know, uh, wrap them up after they dry out after use, okay? So, obviously, start right here. It says this in down. It's it a little loop. This side down. This side down. <laughs> Don't I look like an idiot. All right, so you put the loop over your thumb, all right? You can go one of two ways, towards your wrist or away. I like going towards my wrist. So, first thing I want to focus on is just getting the wrist involved. I go around the wrist about two times. The next thing I want to go for is the thumb, okay? We're going to try to get these two spots kind of involved before we go on to the hands and the fingers, okay? So now, I'm going to lift it up right here. Go over the thumb about once. And guys, one key when you're doing this <laughs> is to keep your hands open, all right? If you keep your hands closed like this and you wrap them up, it's going to keep them tight and constricted, okay? You'll never be able to spread them out. But if you keep your hands like this, once it's all done, you'll have much more range of motion, okay? So once over the thumb right there, we have some of my spray paint in here. It's kind of interrupting with our audio. <laughs> so then a couple times around the hand, notice I'm still keeping my hand wide open, okay? I want to do the hand wraps pretty tight, okay? Not too tight, but pretty taut. They have a little stretch in them, all right? So a few times around the knuckles right there. Now a little trick that I learned that I like doing is doubling up a couple times right here. All this does is gives you a little bit of extra pad over the knuckles, okay? So I'm just going to loop it around a couple times right there. You'll see I just have that little pad right there. Now that just saves some space. Instead of wrapping around my hands more, I now have this piece right here. So now once I have that, I'm going to go around one more time, keeping it still with my thumb. Lock it in right there, and now I'm good to go. One more time around right there. Now I want to hit all my problem areas, okay? I'm going to hit my thumb again, I'm going to hit my wrist. But more importantly, I'm going to go in between my fingers right here, okay? So around the wrist right here, now I want to go in between my fingers. So I'm coming up from this side of my wrist. I'm going to go in between my forefinger and my middle finger. Goes right there. Bam, back down around the wrist again. Now I'm going to go around my thumb and go through my ring finger and my pinky. Hits it right here, okay? Around the wrist one more time. Last time through between the middle two, okay? I'm going to go from my thumb side right here. Now it's time to finish up. I want to get this nice and neat. A few times more over right here, over the thumb, and then the wrist right there. So, wrist right there, thumb, and then at the end, of course, you have this Velcro. That's the way you want to end it. Bam, my hand's nice and wrapped. It's nice and secure. Got a lot of stabilization. Put it in a glove. I'm ready to box. Sweet. <laughs>